Hi right, guys, I'm just going to show you a comparison since I did some dumpling shopping jobs for my personal shopping business, which is my small business, not an independent contractor. But I want to give you examples about the miles. Let me show you. This is the mileage area within the self-employed QuickBooks. And yesterday I did food delivery, 57.2 miles. The deductible is 33.46. Day before, 67.1. Again, oh, that's a, that's a double. Well, you know what? <laughs> Let's delete that trip. There you go. Good thing I caught that. Sunday, I didn't drive much, 37.5, which 21.94 is the deductible. Saturday again, 29.2. You get the point. Now, look at this. The last time I did a, provided a personal shopping service, I drove to the store, which was a dollar, which was 2.3, 2 2.31 miles, came out to a dollar 35, and from the store to the drop off was 9.66, and the deductible is. 565 all right and then the first time I used it oh yeah 1.64 miles came out to 96 cents and 5.38 miles and the deductible is 315 do you see how how I'm going to drive a lot less I mean in those examples it was local However, I set my business up 12 miles or under from my home. You know, I'm willing to drive 10, um, t up to 12 miles right now to the pickup. And that's why I set up the zip codes the right way because I want to lower the miles that I'm driving, but I'm still providing a service that people want. And this is very new. This is in the infant stages in this area. There, there's only a very small percentage of dumpling personal shoppers in my area. I'm one of the first. And I'm going to use a lot less gas. I'm going to drive a lot less miles and I'm going to earn more money. A, a good amount, uh, I'm gonna earn more money. So this is why I'm really working on promoting my dumpling shopping business. I got another lead, but this is, I. Now the transition is happening. I thought that would be very interesting to show you. And now since I'm used to it and I trained myself to use QuickBooks properly, I want to show you this. In the Stride, Stride's a great app. It's a great free app. But I have to remember, I haven't used it in the past few days. I was driving a lot, it, well, only in March. January, February, March, my deductible already is $1,809 because I drove a lot of miles. And let's see here. Let me go back a little bit. Let me go to a high one. 60. I drove 104.22 miles for that $60.97 off. You see how that works? I won't be doing that anymore. I'm not gonna miss driving 100 miles a day to earn income. That's a lot of write-off. You know, good thing for tips and decent money. I, I don't wanna do that anymore. I would rather be in the stores providing a service, driving to the pickup, than driving to the drop-off, getting exercise in the store. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be walking a lot more. This time next year, I'll be walking every day. You know, sitting down all the time is tough, too. So I just wanted to share this with you while I'm waiting for food. I have a double pickup at Big Boy Burritos in Belmore. 
pretty local, fair payouts, um, $8 and $9, Uber Eats. It's a crappy day. I can't, I'm really happy for this crappy day, but I won't be driving all day. Yes, it's just too much. But today is a shoo-in to earn money on days like today. This is when you earn decent pay. It's sleeting, it's raining, the roads are still, they're generally safe, they're just wet. If I work these food deliveries, I'm changing my hours because gas has gone up so high. And again, it, it already went up another five cents. I'm like, oh my God, that's more than yesterday. It seems like in my area, it's going up five to 10 cents a day. That's huge. Who knows how long that's gonna go on for? You know what I mean? Um, so if I'm working, if it's beautiful and sunny and I don't feel I'm going to get business, I'll wait to go out in the evening and work a couple of nights a week when at least dinner rush, you go out like five thirty, six o'clock, you know, you're going to get some orders and, and locally from my experience in my market. All right. And while I'm doing my deliveries, I'm gaining an education, listening to Ray and Zach. They have two channels, YAA, Your Auto Advocate, or Ray and Zach. And today they have Kimberly on. She's the F&I woman, finance and insurance department she worked in for years, a couple of decades. And I'm listening and I'm learning. And they're discussing gas prices. They're, di they're discussing what's about to go down with people wanting to trade in their huge gas guzzlers because they don't want to pay $125 to $150 to fill up their gas guzzlers. I feel gas, I mean, I just gave you an example that went up five to 10 cents in this area, it goes up every day like that. It'll be $6 a gallon before we know it. I'll see you soon. I hope you found this video interesting. Got to get out there and get that food and drop off the goods. All right, I'll see you later. Bye everybody.